Hello everyone and welcome back to Game on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and this is probably one of the most requested tutorials I've been asked to make in a very long time uh, and this is how to install the Shaders mod pack and therefore Optifine for the Agrarian Skies pack for 1.6.4 uh, I've been using it on my um, Agrarian Skies Let's Play for quite a while now and like pretty much since the beginning I've had a lot of people ask me for it It's a little bit late but here we go, I'm going to show you how to do it anyway So uh, first things first, you want to make sure you know where your directory is for the Feed the Beast mods that you've got installed the easiest way to do this is to launch up the Feed the Beast launcher, click Edit Pack, and this is just for any pack. Actually, you want to click on Agrarian Skies. Uh, make sure you click on Agrarian Skies, Edit Mod Pack, and Open Folder. This will take you straight to your directory. You can see mine's in uh, Feed the Beast Current, Agrarian Skies, Minecraft, then Mods. Uh, I have mine on my desktop here. Yours might be somewhere else. Um, so that's the easiest way to find it using the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, we are going to need this in the future because we need to edit some of these mods, but for now, I can close it down. And for the sake of tutorial purposes, I am going to upgrade my pack from 2.1.7 to 2.1.9 because that's going to completely reset the pack and therefore I can show you straight pretty much like from scratch how to download and install all this stuff. So I'm going to click launch on that. Hopefully um, this will, yeah, this is going to finish by the time <laughs> I was hoping it would complete within the video, but it's fine. So that's going to do that and I'll wait for it to finish and then close it down. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the links in the description where I'm going to have the links to the download for the um, Shaders Mod Pack and the download for Optifine. Now, I'll show you them really quick on this web page. Uh, you want to go to this link here. It'll look something like this. You want to scroll down to for Minecraft 1.6.4 and then click either link 1 or 2. You can just use link 1. If link 1 doesn't work, try link 2. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. You'll get a page that looks like this. Add fly. Uh, ignore anything here. But it says download now. Don't click any of this. These are all ads. They're not what you're after. <laughs> then just click skip add. And we get to a Dropbox page. Click download. And then if you're in Google Chrome, we download it down here. In Firefox, it should be up here. Then in Optifine, you want to go to a page like this. I will link it in the description. Scroll down to 1.6.4. And then for 1.6.4, I've been using the Ultra. I've been using uh, HDUC8 for my uh, Agrarian Skies. I am I haven't tried C9 or D1. So if you want to, you can go ahead and try those. But C8's been fine for me for the first 41 episodes of my series. So uh, I'm going to go with it. It's also survived many iterations of Agrarian Skies. Again, you're going to get an ad file link. Just sort of ignore all this stuff. Click Skip Ad. And then download in the middle here. Again, don't click any other stuff around it. You just want to click on the text in the middle. You want to click keep and keep to both of those. And then you can, like, I'm just going to put them on a different monitor here. And then you can just drag and drop them onto your desktop like so. You want them somewhere you're going to know where they are and everything's good. So I can close down Agrarian Skies. I want to go back to my directory where it was installed. So again, Agrarian Skies, edit mod pack, add uh, open folder. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag and drop both of these files and drop them in to here. And then what you're going to do next is if you try and launch Agrarian Skies right now, it's not going to launch. It's going to crash before launch happens. So what you want to do is you want to go to the 1.6.4 folder and delete world card dash universal dash 1.6.4 dash 1.1.0.17. Just delete that. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter if it says the exact numbers on the end. Just any world card universal in this folder. Delete it like that. You should only have to do that once. You shouldn't have to do it every time you reinstall shaders or Optifine. Uh, I think it's actually an Optifine thing, not a shaders thing. Um, but make sure you delete that. You also have to delete it, obviously, every time you update the pack to a newer version like I just did. And you also have to reinstall the shaders and Optifine. So that, once that's done, you should now be able to launch up Agrarian Skies like this. Now... The, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of uh, different shader packs you can use. Uh, I personally have been using uh, Sitter's uh, Vibrant Shaders, I think they're called, in my Agrarian Sky series. Let me see if I can find these real quick. Uh, Sitter's Shaders. Here we go. And we want to find the one for 1.6.4 downloads. Okay, so it turns out that all of these here will work with anything from 1.6.4 all the way up to 1.7.2, so you can carry over your shaders packs between multiple multiple versions of Minecraft. Uh, the one I've been using for my Agrarian Skies Let's Play is uh, Shid Sidus Silders Silders Vibrant Shaders 1.0.3 Max No Depth of Feel. I've been using this one. Uh, you can try all of them. If Max crashes, you can always try the non-Max one, just 1.0.3. Uh, but this is the one I've been doing. Again, click download. Again, it's an ad five page. These ad five pages, by the way, are just to um, 
they support the people who make the packs or make the shaders and stuff. Um, as you can see, you can see uh, earn money through AdFly. For every 10,000 people who visit, the mod creator or uh, shaders pack creator gets $5. It's just a, a nice way of helping them in, uh, in producing this stuff and making it worth their time, which makes Minecraft better for everybody in the long run. So um, you just want to click download. These are really small files. This one is especially. It shouldn't take too long. And again, you want to drag and drop that onto your desktop and things should be good to go. So you can see now I have Optifine installed. If I click options, I have shaders. I don't have any shaders. Well, I do have shaders packs installed because it doesn't. You don't have to reinstall the shaders packs every time you uh, update your pack. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to my Agrarian Skies, Minecraft, uh, shaders packs. I can get rid of all of these and put the one we just downloaded in. It makes no difference. Uh, you can also do it going to the Feed Beast Launcher again as we did before. And then all you've got to do is you've got to go shaders and select the one you want to play. Click done, done, and then you should be good to go. So if we launch up Minecraft right now, uh, the ID mismatches are just because I've just updated the pack. Uh, if you see that, just press yes, it should be fine. And you should see us launch up with shaders. Nice. So this is the uh, shaders pack. Obviously, the shaders pack makes uh, all the nodes a lot easier to see. But there you go. That is how you install Optif uh, Optifine and the shaders pack for Agrarian Skies 1.6.4. Uh, I would like to sort of like prerequisite this, or should I say like after requisites, it's after the end of the video. But um, you do need quite a beefy machine to run this. Like, it, don't be surprised if it crashes, uh, if things break. Um, uh, let me show you right now. I'm getting 253, 260 FPS, 300, 320. I'm getting high FPS, and I'm on normal max FPS fast. These are my settings. I'm getting about 300 FPS. If I turn off the shaders, uh, I'm getting about... 800, 800 FPS, 860. Um, so just bear that in mind. When you, uh, 1,000, I'm getting a lot of FPS. Uh, just bear that in mind. If you're going to just check out what your FPS is before you start, um, divide it by about three or four uh, to get your uh, um, estimate for what you're going to get as soon as you install shared is quite possibly. And then bear in mind that it does get, your FPS does get even lower the more you expand and the more you do in Agrarian Skies. And in my current Let's Play, I'm getting about probably... Uh, 120, 140. I'm getting about half of what I'm getting right now on just this island. So again, once you've def once you've figured out like a third or a quarter of it, half it again, uh, and see if that's playable. Because you don't want if you're getting like 80 FPS right now without shaders, you think that's going to go to like 20 or something, or maybe say you're getting 100, it's going to go to about 30, which is playable. 30 is playable. But then if it's going to go down to like 15, 14, once you get quite a bit of stuff going, it's probably not really worth it. And it's probably just going to be better just to stick without shaders. But uh, yeah, there you go. I've had a lot of people ask me for this, and that is how you install shaders for Agrarian Skies 1.6.4. I hope it helped. Uh, if it did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.